Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is lesson four from module three, the opposite of a number. So in the classwork exercise, it says walk the number line. Walk the line. That's a Johnny Cash track. Pretty good too. You should listen to it. Walk the number line. Each non-zero integer has an opposite denoted negative a. Negative a and a are opposites if they are on opposite sides of zero and the same distance from zero on the number line. So we're going to do an exercise in class. I'm not going to talk about that here. So let's just move on to example one. Okay. Every number has an opposite. Locate the number eight and its opposite on the number line. Explain how they are related to zero. So I'm going to plot eight right here. Negative eight is right here. And if I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that is a distance of eight. If I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that is a distance of eight left. This is a distance of 8 to the right to 0. Okay? So the 8 and its opposite negative 8 are the same distance from 0. They're, this is 8 units to the right. This one's 8 units to the left. So they're related to 0 by being the same distance from Exercise 2 and 3, it says locate and label the opposite number opposites of the numbers on the number line. So it's asking, here's 9. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 from 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 from 0. Negative 2 is here, which is 1, 2 away from 0. So if I go 1, 2, positive 2 is right there. And so on. Four is four units from zero. So I want to go four more units to the other side, which puts me at negative four. And finally, negative seven is right here. Okay? So I want to move that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to zero. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is positive seven. So that is seven units from zero to the right. So those are all the opposite numbers of them. Okay. Number three. Write the integer that represents the opposite of each situation. Explain what zero means in each situation. One hundred feet above sea level. My answer to that would be 100 feet below sea level. Okay. Okay. 100 feet below sea level. Write an integer that represents the opposite of each situation. Negative 100 feet. Explain what zero means in each situation. Zero is sea level. Okay. A lot of you had trouble with this on a exit ticket uh, a few days ago. And we need to revisit this and do other things again. Okay, 32 degrees Celsius below zero. Write an integer that represents the opposite. Well, this is 32 degrees Celsius below zero. So I want one that's 32 degrees Celsius above zero, which is positive. So then I would just say 32 degrees Celsius. Explain what zero means in each situation. Zero means zero degrees Celsius, which is 
pretty easy. Okay, it's a freezing point on the Celsius scale. And a withdrawal of $25 means you're taking out $25. So this is a negative $25. So a deposit would be the opposite or positive $25. Zero here would mean zero dollars or an empty account. Okay, hopefully that makes more sense, you know, when they say, what does zero mean in this situation? A lot of you miss that on the exit ticket. Example two. Maria decided to take a walk along Central Avenue to purchase a book at the bookstore. On her way, she passes the Furry Friends Pet Shop and goes in to look for a new leisure for her dog. Furry Friends Pet Shop is seven blocks west of the bookstore. Okay. Three friends pet shop, seven blocks west. Now remember when we're talking about west and east on a map, we say the word we. West is left, east is right. Okay. West coast, they usually often call it the left coast, California. After she leaves the bookstore, wait, she leaves for a friend's pet shop and walks towards the bookstore to look at some books. After she leaves the bookstore, she heads east for seven blocks and stops at Ray's Pet Shop to see if she can find a new leash at a better price. Which location, if any, is the farthest from Maria while she is at the bookstore? Wow. Determine an appropriate scale and model the situation. Can I know? Okay, so this might take a couple tries. So let's start. Maria decides to take a walk along Central Avenue to purchase a book at the bookstore. On her way, she passes furry friends. So let's call this point right here, furry friends. Okay. It's seven blocks west of the bookstore. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, here is the bookstore. Okay. She leaves Furry Friend's Pet Shop and walks towards the bookstore to look at some books. After she leaves the bookstore, she heads east for seven blocks and stops at Ray's Pet Shop. So now I'm going one, two, we change colors. So it says after she leaves the bookstore, she heads east for seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here's where she is now. And that's Ray's pet shop. If she can find a new leash at a better price, right? So to see if she can find a new leash here at a better price. Which location, if any, is furthest from Maria while she is at the bookstore? So here's Maria. Okay. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So furry friends and Ray's bookstore are both seven blocks from the bookstore. Okay, so they're the same distance. Zero in this situation is the or the number of blocks who are from the bookstore when you're in the bookstore, which is zero. Okay, is there anything else on this page? Yes. End of that page. Exercise four through six. Read each situation carefully and answer the questions. On a number line, locate and label a credit of $15 and a debit for the same amount from a bank account. What does zero represent in this situation? I'm going to put zero here. 5, 10, 15, negative 5, negative 10, negative 15. Okay. On a number line, locate and label a credit of $15. A credit of $15. You can say put 15 in her account. There's a credit of $15. Okay. A debit of the same amount would be negative. 
debit takes money out of the bank. What does the zero represent in the situation? No money in okay. Number five. On a number line, locate and label 20 degrees Celsius below zero and 20 degrees above. Well, I only have two marks to get to 20, so I better do tens here. Okay, so here's my diagram. And these are degrees. Okay. All right, what does zero represent in this situation? Zero degrees. Celsius, which is freezing point. Okay. A proton represents a positive charge, a pro positive. Write an integer to represent five protons. An electron represents a negative charge. Write an integer to represent three electrons. Five. Okay. Okay, that's the end of lesson four. Go do your problems.